This rifle is hungry. Bushmaster Varmiter 223 Remington, also 5.56 NATO. 24 inch barrel, 1 to 9 twist. It's carrying a Leupold 14 power, 50 millimeter objective lens. I think it might have a light snack here in the pantry. How about this? Some Hornady 223 Remington, 55 grain V Max. I found these at a local sporting goods store, $25 a box for 20 rounds. You might be able to do a little bit better than that online. On the packaging, Hornady claims 3,240 feet per second, does not specify the barrel length. In this rifle, 24 inches, I'm coming in just over 3,300 feet per second. Flat shooting cartridge, 200 yards zero, it says you're going to drop 7 inches at 300 yards and 21 inches at 400 yards. Let's take a look at the ballistic tip on this because that's what the Varmint Express is all about. Very effective load for coyotes, prairie dogs, other types of varmints and critters. We're going to test this out just a couple of shots at 200 and also 300 yards. For targets I'm using steel pepper poppers. These are 16 inches tall by 8 inches wide. I'm not much for shooting paper, but I did put a 3-inch bullseye on there for you. That's the 200-yard target. Over here, we have the 300-yard setup. I have separate shooting lanes, so we'll be able to compare each of these targets. And finally, we're going to try out a target cam. I'm going to have picture-in-picture picture while I'm shooting. So you're actually going to have a better view of the hits than I will. And just for the sake of time, we'll have five shots Per group. One thing I like about this 200 yard setup is that just before you get to the target, you've got a one foot gap between some trees. And clear. 300 yards, it's out there. Increase the elevation on the scope by six clicks. And it's clear. Target report. This is the 200 yard pepper popper. You can clearly see the five hits on the steel. Ballistic tips just explode off of this. Don't hurt the steel at all. Full metal jacket is pretty much the same way. Uh, about three inches across on average. Not as tight as I thought it would be. Got a couple that uh, look like they're on top of each other almost. About a half inch apart here on these two. But close to the bullseye. That would be good for coyote and definitely for also prairie dogs at that distance. Opens up quite a bit on the 300 yard target. You can see the five hits. See here, two, three, four, five across there. And I'm thinking that's about six inches across. Closest ones are probably inch and a half, two inches apart there. But from top to bottom, going say from the 11 o'clock to the five o'clock position, it's about six inches across there. So that would work on a coyote at 300 yards. Prairie dog, probably need a little bit tighter scope for that. But that's some accuracy. And again, just five shot groups with the Hornady VMAX 55 grain 223 Remington.
Bonus round, before it gets too dark, I know everybody likes to see the big splash. So water jugs with food coloring, 200 and 300 yards, close up HD only. And finally, the jug report. A little high on the 200 yard. I'm surprised by that, but it really opened it up. That was nice. And then 300 yard, good elevation, just to the left, 9 o'clock position. Open that up well also. To the recycling bin they go. Thanks for watching.